You got you got more. I'm here now. You got me here. You got me here, yeah. What you got? I, I, yeah, I got cleared. I got cleared. So next game, I was going to be able to go out there and play. Um, this is the most unique season obviously I've ever been a part of. Uh, just you know, working working my way back to just be a part of this team and go out there and try to help in any way I could. Um, and then to come, you know, get into the playoffs and like I told you guys, struggling for a little bit after surgery, and then you know, getting some good news from the doctor about my recovery and. Um, <clears throat> you know, getting to the point where I finally got to last week to to get cleared um, late in the week, and know that you know we have the possibility to win this game. I'm out there. Um, I'm out there in the AFC Championship game. So, you know, just a lot of uh, highs and lows this year from you know my own personal life and also just this football team, and to come to a uh, quick stop like that. Um, just like, you know, 31 other teams are going to, you know, live through that. It's, it's pretty tough. Um, as far as the organization or? Yeah, I just learned a lot. Learned a lot about these guys this year, having to, to you know, not to be on the sideline and just still going to meetings, being here every day, the long hours. Um, just seeing the way guys work, you know, I, I definitely got closer to to a lot of guys this season. Just to, um, like I said, just see how they work and see how they, you know, approach their job each and every. I learned a lot from the young guys, older guys. Um, you know, I, like I told you guys before, I feel like with my injury is a blessing in disguise. Um, I was able to to learn a lot about the game, um, learn a lot about myself. Um, so. You know, it was cool to see. It was cool to see uh, a lot of guys step up um, and and play a lot of snaps, big role, uh, have a big role in this team. That you know, they coming into OTAs last year, they probably wouldn't have thought would be the case. Um, but it was it was exciting to see a lot of guys really really flourish and and blossom and and come to life this season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, after every every loss, um, there's emotion, a lot of emotion. Uh, after the season-ending loss, this is way more, uh, you know, emotion. And you know, we're we're all we all understand the business side of things. We all know whose contracts are up and and who's going to be free agents and stuff like that. And so coming into this season, um, you know, knowing knowing you know Poe's situation, um, you know, I wanted to. Number one, I wanted to help him get a new deal. I, I feel like you know within the locker room, guys want to see other guys get paid, and um, you know we all love each other, we all look out for each other, we want to see guys get paid, and so that was kind of my mindset coming into the season. And um, with my situation happening, um, you know I said this numerous times that there was there was more on Poe's shoulder that, shoulders this year than any other year of us being here. Um, you know I, I to be honest, I kind of felt like I let him down just in the sense of getting hurt because. You know him having to continue to to move on without me, which I, I would have been the same way if Poe got you know if Poe got hurt for the season and and I was out there. It, it would have been more on my shoulders to get guys lined up, um, to mentally prepare for the week, um, to talk ball. You know, just when you spend so much time with somebody um, throughout the last six years, you just you know you kind of just lean into them and so. Um, you know, I feel like I kind of let him down, and, and he had a lot on his shoulders. And you know, just seeing him yesterday, um, not really in the game how we wanted to, and in the game how he personally wanted to, was tough to see. Like it, it hurt me to see that. Um, you know, because you, you never know what the future holds as a business. You know, so I've been in the league long enough, and I've seen a lot of teammates come and go. And um, Poe would definitely be the the one um, at the top of the list to to see go, just because it's. 
you know, we were able to step into this place together in, in, in 17 and make a name for ourselves. He helped me get to where I am in my, in my career and, and vice versa. And, um, you know, we leaned on each other a lot over the last six years, not just on the field, but off. Um, just having just grown man conversations, starting families together, um, just, you know, everything, every aspect of life. So love Poe. Um, you know, it was, it was emotional. It was emotional yesterday uh, just coming home and, and and seeing, you know, number one, me not playing, but number two, seeing Poe um, really uncertain about his future, and that goes along with some other guys. But like I said, Poe definitely be at the top of the list. They they know that they know that um, you know they've been around us just you know being in the building and stuff like that and they they know how you know what relationships guys have they know how close Poe and I am um, yeah I mean that's like like you said that's above my pay grade um, as far as guys coming and going in this you know organization there's really nothing you know really nothing I can say I can always vouch for somebody you know and, and stuff like that but um, it's above me. Mm -hmm. Now that the standard is different than when you first started, you were in Green Bay, a lot of success, but you weren't always reaching the peak. What, what's your message to this team now moving forward of, all right, we've gotten here, but how do we get here? It's, it's I mean, I've never won a championship. Like like you said, I've I've gotten to, you know, the NFC championship games a few times, AFC championship game one time here. Um, and throughout the years, you just realize how crucial and how detailed you'd have to be in the playoffs. Um, you know, whether if it's a game like I think it was a three score game, it was a final score of twenty seven to ten yesterday. This is a three score game, but at the same time there were some there were some plays within that game that um, you know, could have definitely went a, a different way. And and if those plays were made on our side, um, you know, the, the outcome of the game could have been different. And I know you can talk about each and every play and I'm, I'm sure you guys do that a lot also, but um it's just very detailed, and when those plays come to you, you have to make them. Um, and so to, to lose in the divisional round again, it's tough. Um, but you got to understand that it's just a few, you're a few plays away from really, you know, getting through to that game. And then, you know, once you get into the playoffs, it's anybody's game. You just got to you got to get hot at the right get hot at the right time. We felt like it was us. We felt like it was us this year, um, and a lot of teams uh, definitely felt that. But you got to continue to. Uh, fine-tune your craft in the offseason, continue to get better, understand that um, it's never going to be easy. It's never going to be easy. Like It doesn't matter how much work you put in. Uh, I can I can say, it's safe to say that I've, each offseason I feel like I'm working harder, but obviously with the situation that happened this year with in my case and whatever, it just it doesn't matter. you got to continue to work. you got to continue to fine-tune fine your craft and and just uh, you know hope that you get hot at the right moment. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got beat yesterday. Like we were, we we felt like we definitely got just beat all around. Um, you know, they, when the team's doing that to you, there's not going to be a you know a bunch of energy, a bunch of juice. Um, there were too many plays for us to be able to get excited. You know, get up, get off the bench, and 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 you know really talk about. So um, I think when that is happening, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of low energy. Do I feel like before the game there was low energy? No, not at all. Guys, I feel like guys are ready to go. Guys were ready to play. The game plan throughout the week was was in place, and and we were executing it. Um, but at the same time, you know, we just got uh, we got outplayed by them, and and uh, you got to live with it. You got to watch it. You got to learn from it, and um, and move on. Um, all the things that this team went through, for sure. Like it's, I've never been on a team this resilient. Um, just stuff that ha was was clearly out of our control, um, and guys just continue to fight and fight, and a lot of it motivated motivated us. And just at the end, we just ran out of gas. Um, we, you know, we fought all year long, 
and you know we've talked about this plenty of times with just the the weather issues the uh, injuries um, just a lot of things that happened this year and then to see these guys really um, keep fighting keep coming to work keep being positive keep getting up in the morning which is hard to do when the weather's bad when it's snowing um, to see all that it was just it was really I learned a lot like I said I learned a lot about my teammates and um, I'm, I'm very very proud of the the players, the coaches, this organization from, you know, cafeteria ladies to the janitors, just everybody having a positive mindset in this building each and every day. And that's something I'll definitely cherish for the rest of my life. Do you think that all of that stuff did or can have an emotional toll as the season goes on? Even if you don't realize it in the moment, you sit back and reflect and say, maybe all of that stuff is just did finally catch up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think that it, even my perspective was different because I wasn't playing. So I was really able to sit back and, and be like, wow, like, you know, even though I was in the meetings, I was, I was part of the game planning stuff, but I wasn't on the field. And I feel like if, when you're on the field and you know, you're kind of, your mind's kind of being taken away from, you know, what's going on around you. So I was, you know, off the field and just like really paying attention to what was going on. I'm just like, oh, wow, like, geez, from the, like I said, from the weather issues that we had, having to leave early. And everybody has, you know, their own personal things going on at home. And, you know, when that stuff was happening, my wife was, you know, at the house with, blizzard going on two kids electricity going out i'm getting phone calls i'm staying up late making sure you know my neighbors can help out which they're amazing and you know so everyone's going through their own personal battles um with a lot of the issues that went on this year and uh like i said just ran out of gas it was just it was it was a tough year it's not making excuses by any means um we felt like we you know this team was going to get it done and at the end of the day we just didn't Every day, the season, it doesn't, I mean, you can talk about the 13 seconds of last year. Um, I, I swear in my 10-year career, I've had the, I, I, I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody as far as the worst losses. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Just the worst losses in the playoffs. It's it's insane. Um, for my days in Green Bay with the thinking we're going to the Super Bowl, onside kick at Seattle. Um, to the 13 seconds here, to just so overtime in Houston, just so many different losses uh, that I'm able to just stack up throughout the years. And every single one of them, the day after, you're just like, you're stunned. You're shocked. Um, you know, once you get to the playoffs, you think you're going to win it all. And um, just the next day, you just come to that realization that it's not happening. And it's so hard because you wake up each and every day um, putting in that work mentally physically getting your mind right for the next week and you know we're just creatures of habit which continue to do that stay on routine all year and then as soon as that you know clock hits zero and you're not playing anymore it's just like wow you know it's like you just look around and you're shocked um and it's just a long season that you know you think about the 2023 season my, my wife was briefly talking about it today and i just told her like i can't even think about next season right now like it's just so much on your mind um you just reflect of the season and stuff. So it's difficult, but every year is the same. You're just shocked. Where will you be this offseason? I'll be here for a little bit. Um, be out in San Diego. And, you know, doing what we do. Got weddings and stuff to go to. So try to get some sun. I need some sun. I'm, I need it bad. <laughs> uh, but, yes, yeah, stick around here for a little bit and do some things and take off maybe in a week and a half too. All right. Appreciate it.